Hi everyone, thanks for watching. I'm Lauren from Guthrie and & Ganny and in this video I'm going to be sharing with you a roundup of some of the lovely new fabrics that have arrived in my shop, which as you can see I'm standing in just now over the month of April. And I've also picked out a few other really lovely spring summery fabrics as well, which um, you might have missed the first time rounds, but I think they're really nice for this time of year. So I'm just capturing them in this video as well. What I have done is put a blog post together that goes along with this video so that is the best place to look if you're looking to find the listings for any of the fabrics that I'm mentioning in this video. I'll put the link to that in the description. It will sort of link them all in order of what I mention them because depending on when you actually watch this video, it may be that they are in the just arrived section of the website or it might be that they've moved down a little bit. So yeah, the blog post is the best way to see specifically what I mention in this video. But for generally just browsing all of the new things that we're getting in regularly all the time, then the just arrived section is the best place to do that. Remember, we do ship worldwide as well. So I'll put the international shipping details link in the description to the video as well. Before I get started on all of the fabrics, I just want to quickly mention what I'm wearing because quite often people ask what I'm wearing in these videos. This is the Cashmere Appleton wrap dress, which we did as a kit a few years ago. And it is made using a medal jersey, which we don't unfortunately don't have anymore. It was an exclusive one that we got for the kits, but we do have lots of other viscose jerseys, tensile jerseys, medal jerseys that would all be really suitable. It's super comfy, you could definitely shorten the sleeves if you wanted to make it a bit more summery. Um, and yeah, it's so just really lovely, nice, comfortable, simple make for every day. So I was excited to get that back on again today. So the new things that I'm going to show you, first of all, a few just bits and pieces just to, to make you aware that we have them now. The hot hemmers, which have been super popular, now come in an inch equivalent. So if you prefer working in inches and you like the look of the hot hemmers, you can now get them in the inch form as well, which is quite useful. And then we did also restock on some really beautiful double fold scalloped edge elastic, which are perfect if you're making your own underwear, your own knickers, lots of pants patterns, brief patterns out there now. And they're really good to use up any scraps or off cuts you've got. Maybe if you've been making some t-shirts or little tops or dresses, then use making underwear with the scraps of that can be really good and just a really lovely selection of nice colourful different elastics there too so something a little bit fun if you fancy trying that and um, there's the tilling the buttons pattern i can't remember what it's called now maybe the iris snickers i think and then there's a couple of jennifer lauren handmade ones as well which we sell as pdfs on the website we can print them out for you too if you want so a few knicker options there again i'll link that in the blog post so on to the new fabrics that we've had. I've got a few stretch. Most of them are woven, I would say. It tends to be this time of year we get a lot of woven fabrics. So first of all, I'm going to show you these new yarn dyed linens. So yarn dyed refers to when one of the threads that's woven the fabric is, is, is one colour and then the other direction is another colour. So the, the warp and the weft, so the thread that goes side to side and the thread that goes up and down is different in colour. And what it does is it gives the fabric a really beautiful sort of two-toned effect. So it gives, the, it gives it lots of depth and because this is linen, it's got that lovely natural sort of slubby texture of linen as well. So it's a really beautiful fabric. I've got it in quite a few different shades as well. I would probably classify it as more of a lighter weight linen. So I personally think it's probably a bit too lightweight for trousers or jumpsuits. I think if you did use it to make that, you might sort of feel like maybe you're kind of wearing pajamas, um, which maybe that's okay. Maybe that's what you want and that's totally fine. But I just wanted to warn you that maybe compared, if you've used our, say our enzyme linen before or our Rami fabric, which are both really good for trousers, this is definitely much lighter weight than that. So. I would say it's really good for little shirts, blouses, tops, some dresses would be nice as well, like the Soul Liberated Hinterland is quite a classic example, but you know, any any nice, nice dresses, pretty dresses that have got gathers in them or anything that's gonna press really well. So anything that's got a button band or a placket collar is all gonna work really nicely that new Friday Pattern Company Donny shirt is also going to work really nicely in this. So so yeah, a really lovely, nice linen option there that's just got a little bit more depth to it. And then we have also had some of the new Atelier Brunette double gauze ginghams in. So these are the ones where you kind of get 
sort of get two fabrics in one in a way because you can choose whether to either use the smaller gingham checks or the more medium ones so or you can have a little mix and match a contrast of both which is really fun so they did have this range before and you might recognize my Norma blouse which I made with a, a four different colorways of this fabric um, as inspired by a beautiful version I saw on Instagram but yeah there's just some new colorways of that now that are maybe like a little bit more summery some of them are sort of brighter and um, depending on when you're watching this they might not all be in stock but they are something that we can just keep getting again so you can always request a stock notification if anything's showing out of stock on the website so so again they're going to be really cute for little tops and blouses shirts and um, i think they, they i think they would work for dresses as well and maybe depend on what type of dress i feel like probably something that's that's like a little bit fuller something that does have gathers in it and um, would would maybe work a little bit better but but yeah a really lovely fabric and just nice to have some fresh new colors in that one then the next one that i've got to show you is a viscose fabric this one comes in two different colorways and um, this specific one is the pale blue and then the other one's more like a mid blue so it's a polka dolby chambray viscose fabric quite a lot going on there so it is 100 percent viscose but it's got the word dolby in it because when you look really closely you can see these tiny little dots that are woven into it and when dots like that are woven into the fabric, dobe tends to be the term that gets used to describe that. So it gives it a little bit of a texture. And then chambray is coming from, again, one thread is white and the other is blue. So then it gives that sort of classic kind of denim -y, sort of like a little bit of two-tone appearance. So it's a really beautiful fabric definitely totally opaque like you can't see through that at all which makes it really versatile i think it would be really nice for um a jumpsuit somebody on the instagram live was asking about the friday pattern company avenir jumpsuit and i think it would work really nicely for that and um, but it would be really lovely and swishy for dresses skirts tops blouses just a really lovely versatile fabric and nice if you want something plain that's not flat because it's got that that depth and texture from the chambray and then also the doby spot as well okay next up are a couple of embroidered ones one of them is on the roll behind me here and this is a really lovely sort of broidery anglaise kind of eyelet fabric so this one is called the ivory eyelet fans cotton fabric we do also have it in white as well so so it is 100% cotton and you can see it's quite open so that you know that the eyelets in it are on the larger side close to the selvage you've got this kind of scalloped border here which if you trimmed really closely to that stitching you could kind of make that become the hem edge of your garment or you could cut out a sort of panel and then gather it and then make it like a little bit of a ruffle and um, so so yeah it's a really lovely pretty one and uh, you know I think there's lots of interesting things that you could do with this now in terms of working with a lining or you know working out what to sort of put behind it I think there's a few options that you could do here if you didn't you know if you wanted it to to not be too see-through then you could line it with just a plain cotton lawn or voile we have some of that and you could either line it by just making effectively two of the same garment so say you're making a little top say it's something simple like the closet core CEO top or chilo top I never know how to pronounce that I'll put a little image of it so you can know what one I mean say you were making something sim uh, very simple like that and just having bias binding at the neckline then you could make the outer top the uh, the lining top and then just literally put the two together and when you put the binding on that's when you attach the two the two layers you know the lining and the outer together or before you do any construction at all, you can cut the main fabric, cut the lining, put them together, baste them within the seam allowance, and then just treat it as one layer of fabric. So then as you construct the garment, it's effectively already lined as you do that. The other option would be, of course, just to not line it at all. And then you could wear a little vest top underneath it. Um, a really nice little Zoe tank top or something would look cute. Or it might be maybe you're making a beach cover up and you don't really mind that you can kind of see through it because you're going to just be wearing it as like a sort of throw on thing that you wear with your swimsuit anyway. 
so yeah it's just a really lovely nice on trend fabric for the summertime um, and yeah a couple of a couple of tones of white and cream so you can you can choose your preference there and um, the next one that I wanted to show you isn't isn't totally brand new and we have had it in another colorway for a bit longer but this just screams summer to me and I wanted to just highlight it again in this video partly also because it really reminds me of a dress that I bought years ago from Bowdoin that's just a really simple little um, kind of summer sleeveless shift dress that I wear as like a beach cover up when I go on holiday and it's and it's got stripes on it like this one and um, so it's the summer stripe it's a viscose linen so it's 70% viscose 30 linen so it does mean that it's quite floppy and it's got quite a lot of drape to it but I think it's just really nice it would look cool if you sort of alternated the direction of the stripes as well so sometimes they could be going horizontal sometimes you could put them vertical so things like an oversized shirt or um, a nice skirt would be lovely or you know a dress as well would look beautiful so I just wanted to highlight that one again because I do really love that one for summer and um, the other ones that I also wanted to highlight for summer as well which again aren't strictly new but I just feel like they're very fitting for this time of year if you're planning any summery projects and um, is this gorgeous one here this is the boho stripe cotton linen jacquard fabric so it's a hundred percent cotton I just feel like there's quite a lot going on in this fabric it's really nice so first of all loads of beautiful colors they're all woven into the fabric as well so they're not printed onto the fabric and then you've got these sort of detailed stripes in it as well which almost look like ribbons maybe um, and it just gives a really lovely detail it is quite quite thin and sheer and um, so I would say probably my personal preference would be if I was making something like this I don't think I would line it I think I would just layer it up with something like a little vest top or I would be using it as a beach cover-up um, in which case I wouldn't mind that it was a little bit sheer I feel like if you lined it it might sort of take away the kind of floaty lightness of the fabric um, but yeah I just think it's so such a lovely summer one and um, the other one that I wanted to just highlight as I was sort of going around the shop picking out all the fabrics I was going to show you they just caught my eye and we did have them a while ago and they were really popular and we just have a little bit left but I just think they're so fun they look really really nice nice crisp so it's a a lovely cotton that's got a very fine pinstripe on it and then really fun little beautiful embroidered fruits so we've got some watermelon here we've also got a cherry one as well and the the embroideries are just really detailed very dense you can get quite a variation in types of embroidery but the embroidery on this one just feels like it's really good quality because it's so dense and um, a lovely shirt dress and that would be nice or just a classic nice crisp shirt closet core cali the green line archer anything like that and um, it's going to press beautifully because it because it is cotton so any nice details like collars cuffs button bands and um, plackets that kind of thing is all going to work really lovely in that fabric so yeah I just wanted to remind you that it was there and it's just so lovely in summary um, and then the other two woven ones that I've got to show you again they're not brand new but I just feel like they they possibly came in more towards the end of a season and I feel like they missed their time in the limelight but they would be so lovely to sew with at this time of year they're Japanese fabrics they're from the, the Koka collection so they're made in Japan super good quality and again I feel like there's a lot going on in these fabrics so first of all let me the composition is 83 cotton and 13 linen and 4% tensile I would say they don't they don't really drape like tensile it's just a tiny little bit of tensile so really I would say the tensile in there is probably just softening it up a little bit so they do you know they're, they're fairly sort of crisp in the sense that they're mostly cotton then the linen is giving that little bit of natural texture and depth they have this kind of crinkle sort of feel to them so I would say that that is something that you would want to embrace with this fabric I would say it's not something that you would be wanting to iron out that's just part of the gorgeous character of this fabric that it has got this sort of like crinkle creased appearance to it a little bit then of course all the beautiful colors that are woven in there so they are not printed onto the fabric they're woven into it and then this sort of like sashiko style kind of running stitch so just like a lot of depth and really really lovely i think they would be gorgeous as tops and blouses and dresses they are a little bit sheer again depending on the style of the dress you might feel like you want to line it but if it had quite a lot of gathers in it you might feel like there's enough fabric there anyway 
also nice for a beach cover up too so we've got it in this gorgeous lovely turquoise colorway and then we've also got it in more monochrome vibes and um, with the black and white and the checks are just a slightly different sort of orientation and proportion there but still got that lovely sashiko stitching in it so so yeah i felt like they just deserved a little bit of a highlight again because they're such beautiful fabrics i'm desperate to make something with this one i love it and um, it is near the top of my sewing list i just need to finalize what it's going to be and um, probably some sort of simple top i reckon and um, it's going to work really nice in that and then the final woven ones that I just wanted to show you were of course new this month are our Be Happy Blooms three colorways of our fabric that I designed in collaboration with Rachel Parker so obviously we had it as part of the kits I'm sure you've seen it all on my YouTube channel um, and on Instagram as well that we had the closet core next top and dress and this fabric as part of the kit but we do have the fabric by the meter as well and I am so excited to start making other garments with it when the fabric came in we were so focused on making all of the samples for the kits and i am desperate to just make some other garments with it as well because it's so beautiful right at the top of the list which i'm going to make first because it won't take me too long is a is a true bias ogden cami with a wider strap and um, i love wearing the ogden cami in the summer and a few um, i think it was maybe last year maybe the year before i did a little video and a blog post on how to change the pattern to make the strap a bit wider and um, so i think i'm going to do it to this version as well so i'm really looking forward to that i also really want to make a skirt out of the navy blue colorway of this as well allison who works in the shop made a gorgeous um, chalk and notch Evelyn skirts out of the navy colourway and I love it I felt very inspired by it so I really fancy making a nice skirt out of that as well just to wear with maybe like a little sort of plain white t-shirt or something in the summer I think that would look cute so yeah we do still have that available by the meter and then finally some jerseys to share with you this one we have had in other colourways before but we've now got it in this lovely um, sort of off off white creamy colourway um, it is technically called white but I wouldn't say it's like a brilliant white um, and it is a French terry fabric so it's like a light lightweight sweatshirting slash heavier weight t-shirt fabric so crosses nicely between the two I think if you're looking for a lightweight sweatshirting fabric for spring, summer, this would be perfect. Um, it's re really nice, so good for all of your classic jumper patterns. You could even make a cardigan with it as well, which would be nice. Um, so just some really lovely, nice tones in that one. And then we've also got some new classic stripes. We've got a very narrow one and then a little bit of a more chunkier one so this one here this feels really lovely and soft it's 92 cotton eight percent elastane so nice and stretchy it's the fine stripe cotton jersey fabric and we've got it in three different colorways so this is the dusky aqua one here and it is going to be really good for cute little tops and t-shirts and um, would be nice for kids clothes as well that always looks cute in a narrower stripe so just nice to have something that's a little bit finer and then we have also got um, this one here which comes in three different colorways so this is a bit of a thicker stripe as you can see and um, this particular one is the dusky pink broad stripe cotton jersey fabric same composition so it's 92 cotton 8% elastane um, and I actually have a little bit of this ready to make up into a closet core core tee that's the free little t-shirt pattern that you can get from the closet core website i think you have to sign up to their newsletter and um, it's a really lovely just simple simple classic more sort of boxy fitting t-shirt um, but it would be perfect for little t-shirts at this time of year also good for the real ringer as well if you've got that pattern and um, it would look lovely in that too and um, the telling the buttons agnes the green line lark all of those sort of lovely classic t-shirt patterns would work really well with this one so yeah we've got the pink and then a bluey sort of bluey colorway and then also this lovely caramel one as well which has got more sort of like yellowy ochre vibes really really lovely very nice color palette there and um, so that brings me to the end of my little roundup that I have for you today not loads but I think it's a nice digestible amount and hopefully gives you lots of inspiration so remember I do have the blog post that goes with this video that is that as I said in the beginning that is the best place to find 
a specific link to anything that I mention here but otherwise feel free to browse the website and see all of the new things that we come in that come in each week if you've got any questions at all please feel free to leave a comment below or you can always call or email the shop the G&G team and I are always more than happy to help with any of your questions or queries if you're looking wanting to check a fabric suitable for something do feel free just to get in touch and um, thanks so much for watching if you haven't subscribed to my channel already then just remember to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video and I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye!